All right, everybody. Uh, Going to be doing a review now of the Hick Micro's uh, new SQ50 2.0 thermal rifle scope. Purchased it this year's uh, Great British Shooting Show at Birmingham NEC. Bought it from uh, Scott Country International. Very good company to deal with. Uh, bought a few things from before. Um, so purchased that for about two seven. Um, that was a show price at the moment. Now I think it's gone back to about three thousand pounds per uh, per product. Um, so. I was going to start with the mounts here. Um, I'm using the Sportsmatch um, quick release mounts. Um, they've got, I believe, um, yeah, HOP92 is the code number. These are the quick release ones that you can stick um, the bolts on that will keep it on. I mean, that's wiggling because that's all tight and it's just a way you can adjust it like that and so on. But anyway, flapping here. Right, you've got your. Um, scope body they've changed it they've all gone back to the basics really um they've raised the menu screen um sorry the menu um tab here um i did have a little bit of trouble with gloves on uh, the other night trying to maneuver myself between the selections but that's probably because i have fat fingers and i was wearing gloves uh normal people that won't apply but just to say that's your on button quick press goes into standby uh that there is your um color palette selection and over there is your is your record on, whilst talking about records, this scope has a, a recoil activated um, recoil, um, record function. Sorry, and what that means is, as I found out, come by completely complete mistake. Um, as soon as you mount the gun to take a shot, this thing is already recording. Um, I think the pod and a couple of other devices have got that anyway, so it's not a new thing. Um, menu is up here now, as where it was before, is on the side here. Very easy to use. Um, real, really simple. Um, I'll go through that in the video and you can see what, what 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 is what on the actual screen. It's all the same stuff as what you can expect. If you've got if you've got one of these thermal scopes or something like it, you you know, you're gonna find it's very, very easy to use. Um 30 mil body tube, and it's got that traditional uh, rifle scope look, and it's very, very light. I don't know what the weight, I can't think of the weight to hand here, but all I can say is it is very light. Um you've got your uh front focus here, very simple to use. Um I don't have to worry about getting any fishing coasters or any of that stuff to put on there to try and uh, make it move easier. And that this thing is uh, is is very easy to use. Um, front lens cover here, flip up covers, press there, rotates out. Um, the old ones would stay out here, but these they go back there with a nice little click. Um, it's got a 50 mil objective, and the specs are on this uh, <clears throat> thermal scope. It's a uh, 20 millikelvin net D sensor. Uh, which is 640 by 512, uh, 12 microns uh, sensor, if you know what that means. Basically, the 640 and the 512, um, the older the older scopes, uh, and including my spotter, they were, I believe, were a, uh, a, a, a three, maybe a 380 by 288 sensor off the top of my head. Um, the difference between that and the 640 by 512, which is in, now in Hicks um, model here, is... Um, massive the actual image quality I, I can't get over how good the quality is um i looked at i am a pulsar fan um but i'm looking at the models that they got there and for the price nothing comes close to what this is um what this gives you with 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 um pulsars gear it is um it is costly um there's no two ways about it um but the build quality of these scopes these hicks are unbelievable up there with the with the best so uh waffling here but yeah it's got 2600 meter detection range um the magnification goes from 3.3 to 2.6 mag with picture in picture which is very good um for if you've got the target acquisition on the uh three mag and if you've got the picture in picture set to say i don't know six and a half something like that that's perfect that's for any good for your fox shooting or anything um as you can see in the video um i did a little bit of rat bashing the other night with it um with these whilst it's mounted to the M3, obviously not the Creedmoor. Um, and I did find um, being 3.3 mag, it's just that little bit uh, zoomed in, just that little bit. I would have preferred it to be maybe two times magnification and, and, and for it not to have to go up to say 26 mag, because even though you've got that good sensor set and uh, sorry, that good sensor on this scope, you do find, as you'll see in the video, things can get, get a little bit blocky when you zoom in um, past anything past 10 times mag really but that's just a niggle and that doesn't really matter i mean to be honest whatever anyone's going to be doing sort of shooting pest control with this sort of scope this is what it's designed for um 
So it's got video recording, obviously, and Wi-Fi as well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you some of the footage. I'm going to go through the menu options and just give you a quick overview of that. I'm not going to bore you with that. And um, yeah, I'll show you some uh, what it can do out on the, on the range. Right, so real quick, I'm going to do a little uh, uh, test here with the Sports Match um, Hot 92 uh, Quick Detach Picatinny Mounts. Uh, currently on the M3 here, um, I'm going to take it off, put it on, put totally take the heat micro off, put it onto the S20, go out and immediately check zero. Um, I've seen other YouTubers do it and they swear by it, but this is me and. Uh, here goes so i've got these on anyway i've got these just well not finger tight but pretty pretty ham-fisted tight so <sighs> right come off easier than i thought so i'm gonna take that off there like that uh, get this up there right stick out there stick this out of the way two secs excuse the wobble and now Let's just bring this in a bit. Get this onto here. The whole place is falling down. So let's get that to the light. Be easy if I swapped it. It's the beauty of live filming. Right, so one, two, three, four. I was four of those little notches in. Four. Right. Always push forward on the mount for so you can get that. Uh, the actual notch is going to go right up against the rail there. Get that on there. Right. Now let's go and uh, test it, see if it actually works or if it's a load of old crap. Okay, up at the range now. Uh, I've just mounted the SQ50 back onto my um, S20 and I'm going to fire a three round group at that target. Uh, we'll see if the sports match mounts hold true. Um, see a lot, like I said, I see a lot of YouTubers uh, taking the scopes off, putting them back on, but I want to see like some real, real world results. So, got my target there, 100 yards. Let's 
get ourselves in a nice position here and fire when ready. And then we'll go down and have a look and see what the um, roofing's like, if it's anywhere near the target. <sighs> Two. A little bit rushed, but uh, sorry. Right, that's three. Let's go down and see if the point of impact's changed from uh, changing from rifles. Right, so there's no real point of impact change with that, which I'm very happy about, very pleased. That was a full-on, honest uh, little uh, video there. I literally changed the scope over from my M3 onto my S20, and um, cold bore shot included, probably that shot there that's a little bit to the left, and then you've got two, two in the same hole there. Um, if I spent a bit more time, I'd probably get a bit more accuracy than that, but I'm not whinging with that. That's perfect. I'm glad that the uh, sports match... Uh, QD mounts really do work and then you can shift your thermal from rifle to rifle which is going to save a hell of a lot of hassle and having to re-zero so uh, that's uh, made me an happy bunny so um, back to the review okay real quick just uh, deployed the uh, fox caller um, out with the hick micro on the s20 i'm gonna see if we can get myself a problem fox that's been coming out and raiding the land fields so uh just gonna provide a little bit of overwatch protection see if we can get anything on camera so wish me luck so uh, over there, range of about 172 yards away, that's the, uh, yeah, the road deer. That one there, and that one there. All, uh, all not going to be shot tonight, because it's illegal. Also, I've got no real interest in uh, shooting something there, and I don't know if that's a hare, that's a rabbit. I'll just try to look the focus a little bit. I'll go through the color, color, color palette, sorry, with you. And you can be able to see what's going on here. So that's, that's black op. Yeah, that's very good, very crisp. That's the closest one there. So I've got the picture and picture set up. Uh, that's at six point six times. And uh, my um, usual view out to uh, about three point three. And uh, that's fusion. Not really my thing. I'm just going to go and do it just to show you what's what anyway. And uh, Red Hot. Oops, sorry. Let me drop it here. And uh, High Hot. So yeah, that's what that is. Something out there, 410 yards away. Moving a bit. Quick, but I am not 100% sure that's a badge or a fox, but we'll soon see. Just uh, hold that thought. So, change to black ops, and I always get a little bit tired looking for the spotter. But uh, there's a fox over there at 465 yards, way out of range for me. And, uh, I'm hoping that he actually can hear the squeaker because he's not paying any attention to it whatsoever. So we'll soon see. Okay, that concludes my review of the uh, Hick Micro SQ50 uh, 2.0. Wasn't successful in getting um, that specific fox last night, but I do have some footage I'm going to put in in a sec. Um, quick bit of footage from uh, a couple of weeks back when I first got this um, this uh, thermal rifle scope. Um, all in all, very well impressed with it. I uh, highly recommend getting one. There is nothing out there that that cur currently, as of uh, March 2024, um, that matches it for the price point with its features, its sensor resolution, 
um, the uh, net D value, um, sub 20 minute, 20 millikelvins, you ain't going to get nothing out there um, unless you want to be spending three and a half grand or more. But the uh, choice is yours. But um, thanks for watching. And uh, I will I will probably do another review, uh, a quick a quick little video on how to zero this um, SQ50. But um, it's very easy, very simple to do. But uh, thanks for taking your time in watching my video. And please like and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Thank you.